So questions coming in from Instagram as well. If you want to call in with a question from a teenager, by a teenager, about a teenager, uh, this is your time. The phone number is 888-825-5224. 225. Um, I don't know who (laughs) 4 is going to go to. Um, Anyway, Instagram question. How, How do I know, Anthony, that I'm picking the right path for my future? Is my dream career going to end up making me successful in life or cause me to struggle? Mm, that's a good question. Um, it, I would definitely say make sure that your dream career is matching your passion. Because if your passion is not matching your career, then I, I don't believe in the future you will be struggling. Because if you're not passionate about what you're doing, then you're going to eventually not like it down the road. Like I'm very passionate about talking to youth, reaching the young people, and really making sure they understand and make wise decisions with their money, with their finances, and with their choices. So that's my passion. So that's why I'm here, and I love it. I could do this for free. Um, but if you're we passion- can arrange that, no sir, <laughs> <laughs> no sir, no sir, no sir, no sir, no sir. But I mean, that would be my first suggestion: is make sure that you know your career is what you're really passionate about. Because sometimes when I was young, I wanted to be a lawyer. But I wasn't passionate about it. I just knew they made a lot of money. Mm. But I really wasn't passionate about that. I was you would passionate. have been an awful lawyer. I, I really would have. <laughs> I really, I really, would. and I would not be making good money. So I'm, <laughs> I'm loving where I'm at. So Simone, <laughs> I, I, I would agree with him on that. I would also tell you that you would, you know, look at the the path, like he said. You, you look at the the what do most people that do that thing you're thinking about? Yeah. What kind of money do they make? Yeah. And is is the path going to do that? And uh, is it going to make you successful in life or cause you to struggle? Uh, let me just tell you, you're not going to be successful unless you struggle. Yeah. Uh, struggle, you can just about 100% count on. Absolutely. And the, uh, the, the, the gleaming mountain of success is not really a gleaming mountain. It's more like a pile of garbage that you're standing on. Yeah. It's all the crap you went through to get there. Absolutely. You're just standing on it instead of laying under it. Yeah. That's the only difference. So um, it's not a, uh, it, it's, there's really not a yellow brick road. And you and the Cowardly Lion really aren't going to skip to see Oz. Absolutely. It's going to be more of a, of a claw, scrap, and fight, and, and bust your way into it, regardless of your career and regardless of your passion. So pick something you're passionate about. Pick something that has a good track record in the marketplace of actually making a living, and then count on a struggle. And uh, the struggle's fun, though. Yes. And it's part of, it's part of the – embrace it, man. Step into it. All it. right, Kiara is with us in Atlanta, Georgia. Hi, Kiara. How are you? Hi, Dave. Hi, Anthony. Hey, Kiara. How are you? Your question I'm for Anthony. Okay, um, my question is, I'm 22 years old, and I'm currently in a master's program. And I'll graduate in July with about 18000 in student loan debt. Right now, from the money that I, um, I have a budget, it's probably not the best budget, but I have a budget, and I save um, a lot of my money. But at the rate that I'm saving, I only have saved about maybe 7500 by the time I graduate. So I'm really unsure as to what my next step should be, um, just as far as paying off my student loan debt and setting me up to not be in debt going into my real adult life. What's your master's in? Marriage and family therapy. Good for you. Have you got your job lined up coming out? Um, yes, I have an internship now, and hopefully that turns into a job. It looks promising, though. Cool. What kind of pay? I'm sorry. How again? much will you be making if you got the job? Um, entry level is about thirty, thirty-five thousand, okay. and then as I get more um, certifications, I can stand to make um, seventy or eighty thousand. But you know that comes over experience. Right. And yeah, but if you step time. if you step out, what we're saying is you're making thirty-five thousand. You got seventy-five hundred in the bank. You got eighteen thousand dollars student loan debt. That's that's kind of our picture upon graduation, right? Yes. Okay, Anthony. Well, you know, that's a good question, and congrats on on getting there. Um, The first thing that I see, Kiara, though, is you have a budget, so I I definitely want to say get that budget solid because you said it's it's a kind of iffy budget, so I really want to get your your plans and your money on paper and get it solid. Then the next one for me is when I'm looking at $18,000 in student loans you're going to have when you graduate, but then you also already have $7,500 in the savings account, um, I would would take about $6,500 of that out and put it towards your debt. 
keep a thousand dollars for your emergency fund because that's what teach for baby step number one and then get rid of all that debt so when you graduate and you go into your field you're going into it with as much less debt as you possibly can so that would be my suggestion because i want you to get out there and get ahead of the game and not get out there and get this great job now you're looking back at the past so that would be my, my first thing what, what you thinking dave i agree i think you're right on target that's exactly what i would do and and um, exactly. Tighten up the budget yeah. and, and then just make it your first goal with the tight budget to clean up whatever student loans debt that is left so that you can move on. The good news is um, that you're used to living like a college student. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you keep living like a college student while you start making grown up money, you can you can you can trash that student loan debt pretty quick. You can knock it out. And so, uh, and, and the other good, the best news of the whole thing is you're smart enough to even ask the question. <laughs> Yeah. And so congratulations on, on finishing up your master's. That's a great accomplishment. But also, you know, you're asking the question. You're looking out here going, what have I got to do to win? So I want you to hold on. I'm going to send you a copy of the book, The Total Money Makeover, as my graduation gift to you. And it'll show you exactly what to do step by step. You know, it, it's so much. It, it, there is no um, there's no one in any situation coming out of college or coming out of high school that can't in, enter into a winning process. But 98% of this, that is them just knowing they need to. Yeah. Just she made that choice to even make that phone call. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah, especially at 22, Dave. I mean, I, I take my hats off to her. That is, she's going to go far in life because she asked that one question. And now she's, as long as she just applies what we just gave her and, and do some more stuff, man, she's going to be amazing. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show. And so you have to break the cycle. You have to flip this thing on its head and make it behave. You've got to get so fired up and wired up that your broke friends think you've lost your mind.